Cause let me tell y'all how Atlanta lame is fuck. <laughs> y'all remember when I was a kid, I used to want to move here so bad. Everybody was like, what's your dream city? We're going to move to Atlanta. Bitch, this shit lame, baby. Now I see why people come to Houston all the goddamn you. time. Because, and then, then, really, you hoes in there. Y'all scared, baby. Y'all really is. Don't play with me for real. Cause I'm not scared no, no Atlanta, none of that, baby. Cause you, you mad cause I'm, I'm making the city top, baby. Please don't play with me. Then, then, at least in, in Houston, the niggas spend money. Y'all don't spend no money out here. Y'all cheap and y'all broke. What's going on? How am I spending my money out here than y'all? But y'all be flexing. See, ever since my homeboy sent me to that discount store, I know that y'all designer be fake because I know it look real, real, real. I done been there. I done been there. Like, I used to have so many high expectations for Atlanta, but now I hate it. Like, Atlanta is just not it. Like, now I see why everybody... Girl, let me see. Look, what's going on? Now I understand why everybody moved to Houston because this is not it. Like, and then y'all don't have no good, y'all don't have no after hours. If that no good after hours, like, baby, I need to after all my ass back to Houston because y'all is lame, okay? Ha ha, feel. Hello, give me some light. Let me let the window down. Why is on child not? How I feel more like I'm on a vacation when I'm at home in Houston than when I'm in Atlanta. Oh. Who this for? This, this, this vacation ain't for me. Hell nah, it ain't. Because who this for? I'm still tripping on a 50 50 dollar minimum. First of all, bitch, I bought shots for me, which is forty five dollars. Bitch, you you telling me five dollars? Five dollars? Five dollars? Five dollars? Five dollars? Then you gonna say I said what's my total? Fifty seven. But when I got my shit back, you 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 wrong up sixty two. Okay. Can't count hoes. Okay. You know what? Can't count assholes. Atlanta. I, I'm disappointed. I had I used to have super high expectations for y'all, but I wish somebody would say Atlanta better than Houston ever again because I'm telling you, it ain't, baby. Like, ugh, I'm disgusted. Y'all, that's what I was talking about. They gonna have, they gonna tell me, had a nerve to tell me if I use my debit card or my credit card, oh, I gotta spend a minimum, a minimum of fifty dollars. Why? Money is money. Money on is money on, huh? Yeah, like, what are you saying? Like, why do I have to spend a minimum? And then forty five, I, I spent forty five. You was gonna round it up anyway. So if you round, if you was gonna round it up, bitch, that's fifty dollars. <laughs> like. You be off in the bar, bottle top, so find y'all club at the. Why is the strip club closing at three o'clock, bro? Why is the strip club closing at three o'clock? Baby, it's still two o'clock in Houston. We leaving a regular club right now on the way to the strip. I'm stressed. Wow. 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 Okay. Uh, more wows. I'm saying this because. She's the reason why I titled this video the way that I did, right? The reason why I decided to title the video What Happened to the Pleasant Woman is clearly because of people like this woman you just now um, experienced. What happened to the pleasant, peaceful woman? Like, where are they, basically, right? They do not exist anymore. And if they do, it's a very small population of these individuals. It's, it, it's a shrinking. Oh, yeah, it is shrinking. There's, there's more of people like her or women like her on the market than the opposite. I hope that makes sense to you. And I'll say it again. There's very little peaceful, pleasant women. And this goes beyond skin color or race, ethnicity. It's just women in general or just people in general, I'll say, right? Pleasant, peaceful people are becoming rare. It's hard to find people like this in today's world because right now it's cool to be ghetto it is cool to be ratchet right with the help of social media media i mean not media but uh you know music movies tv shows you know, everything is is pushing to ratchetness and they're trying they're they're, they're making it seem like it's cool to to uh, to just adopt that lifestyle, right, of being ghetto. It's a little hot here now. They're, they're, they're pushing this idea to children, your children, they're, they're pushing this message that it's okay to be ghetto. It's okay to be loud. It's okay to be, um, you know, just have, have poor grammar. It's okay to have these giant wings on their eyes, these so-called lashes. It's okay to be dis disrespectful. It's okay to be a baby mama. It's okay to be a felon, a scammer, a drug dealer. It's okay to be trash person in general. It's not cool to be pleasant and peaceful. 
that's not cool anymore. So, again, I titled this video the way that I did because that's what I'm seeing in my day to day. I run into more ghetto, ratchet people than the opposite. Now, when I say I run into, I just see how they behave. And there's more of them than people who are pleasant. So this goes for women or so-called, um, not, not black women. Because the woman you just saw in this video, to me, I don't call her black women, right? No, she's a ninja, right? Ninjas are ghetto people. And ninja is short for the, the N-word. I won't say it on this video, but she's a ninja. She's a ninja woman. That's what she is. Ninjas are ghetto. Ninjas are felons. They are scammers. They are drug dealers. They want to be gangsters. And they think, they think they're tough and they sack their pants. They have poor grammar. They're in and out of jail. Their baby mamas and baby daddies just drama people. At the same time, there's just trash. And there's ghetto people in all so-called race, cultures, traditions, ethnicities, Caucasian, Hispanic, dark skin, you name it, Asians. There's ghetto everywhere. Being ghetto is cool. Being ratchet is acceptable. And people very much adopt this idea that it's okay to be ghetto because for a lot of just multiple reasons. It could be their family and friends are doing it. They want to be part of it. You know, they see what they see on social media. They follow their favorite, you know, celebrities. You're... Kim Kardashian, yeah, she's ghetto. Cardi B, you know, sexy reds, the city girls, all trash, ghetto ass people, dude. Ghetto to the core. Right? And again, they, they think this is cool because they want to be like these people so bad. And because their favorite celebrities are ghetto, they think it's okay to be ghetto because my favorite stars are ghetto and they're rich and famous. So maybe this is how I should be so if, 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 if I want to be successful. I have to be this so-called bad bitch, right? This so-called I'm a gangster type of dude. You know, it, it's 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 sad. But again, this this population of ratchet ghetto people, it is growing by the number. It's getting bigger and bigger because it's cool to be ghetto. This this is nothing new though. It's been like this since the 90s. But the 90s to me, and that was like what. 11 years old and I, I do recall seeing a lot more pleasant people back then right even though the Tupacs were back were, were, were you know the ones um, who were the popular rappers at the time your Biggie Smalls they were ghetto too like listen I still listen to, like, to the music I'm not gonna act loud I don't listen to rap music I'm not perfect whatsoever right I'm not perfect like the next person but it is what it is ghetto and ratchetness it's cool. Tupac and Biggie were also ghetto too. They were. I won't act like they, they were not. The difference is that me as a person, I realize that this is only entertainment, right? I see these celebrities, these rappers, whatever, these rock and roll stars as only celebrities. Only celebrities. To, I'm not celebrities, excuse me. Entertainment, right? I think they're just putting on a show, which means they're acting. They have to act like they're ghetto act like they're these persons to, to sell something to you and because you're silly you think okay this is how I should be because this is what I see on social media you decide to take that type of lifestyle and apply it to your reality and now you're this ghetto person you think this is cool because of what you see on TV or your smartphone either or you just got finessed you have this idea that smoking weed and getting in trouble and you know being being a felon all this stuff is cool yeah it's cool to be a prisoner it's cool to be an inmate too right it's cool to be a prisoner locked up in some jail or prison you know institution a lot of people think it's cool to be a felon it's cool to be arrested an inmate it's it's ridiculous it's, it's sad dude it's not even ridiculous it's just sad because all a lot of people are being tricked thinking it's okay to be like this and it's not what's crazy is this the same people people follow the same people that you decide to follow on social media the ghetto ratchetness people right the the, the, the same people you follow you know it, it's 
the same people you decide to follow are the same people who, who doesn't want their own children to gravitate towards what they're doing. If that makes any sense to you, right? The City Girls member, Young Miami, she made this very clear. She said she does not want her daughter to know what she does for a living. That means she does that. She, she, she knows it's terrible being ghetto. She knows it's bad to be this way. It's terrible to be ratchet in general. And she does not want her daughter to see what she does, listen to her music, or even be part of that type of so-called lifestyle ratchetness or ghetto. She said out her mouth, young mommy, she does not want her daughter to be, to be part of this. So when you hear this, right, when you hear me say this, doesn't that make you think some type of way in terms of, wait a minute, so why is it okay for you to push this message on me, onto me and my children, yet you don't want your own children to be part of this? That means you got finessed. You got tricked because it's entertainment. The, 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 the crazy part is some people very much took the ghetto lifestyle and decide to bring that into their household, bring it into their home. Arguing, fighting, being ghetto is, I mean, ghetto to the core. To me, it just shows that a lot of people are not critical thinkers. You're not a thinker. You don't think for yourself. You have, you gave the power to these so-called celebrities, social media influencers, whatever. You decide to give the power to these people to show you how to live in today's world. Meaning, they're, they're teaching you how to broadcast yourself in the public space. Meaning, being ghetto. You gave the power to these people to tell you how to behave in the public space. They're telling you, hey, be like me, a ghetto ratchet person, and you'll be cool. You're, you're, you're watching this. You're maybe like, hey, okay, good idea, because you're rich and famous. I'm going to listen to you and be this way because it's cool and it's fun. It's trendy to be like these people. Sadly, you're getting finessed because the crazy part is this. Once, once you get in trouble, which you, you will, right? When you get in trouble in terms of the law or even fatal, once your butt gets in trouble, the system makes money off your silliness, off your ignorance. Yes, they make money from you buying the concert tickets, going to the clubs, buying the music somehow, supporting it in some kind of fashion, right? Financially, you support them in that way. So they make money, they, they earn money from you in that avenue. Then once you get arrested because you like to smoke weed, <laughs> you think it's cool to smoke weed, you know, get drunk, do donuts on the roadways, drive Hellcats, do ghetto, stupid, hood, dumb-ish. You get caught up by the law, you get arrested, and now you have a record. And because you don't have the money and fame and the network, the power like your so-called favorite celebrities have, you can't get yourself out of trouble. And now you can't get a better paying job. You're not this felon. Nobody trusts you. You're in the system. You, you ruin your life. Ruin your life for the worse. Well, there's no worse. Maybe ruin your life is just means it's 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 you just messed your life up basically. You got finesse. So now they're making money off of you being an inmate in jail or prison because now you're locked up for doing some stupid hood dumb ish but just because you thought it was cool to do you're getting finesse you're getting played you're going to ruin your life if not you already did you think it's cool having baby baby daddies all over the place baby mamas all, all over the place like it's so accepting to do this and there's no more pleasantness in people it's shrinking i'm telling you pleasant women are shrinking it's hard to find pleasant peaceful nice women there's more women like this one we just saw in this video there's more of her there's more women like her in the public space or on the market to choose from than the woman that i'm talking about the pleasant peaceful collected woman who's just family oriented doesn't want nothing to do with the club life i'm not saying never go to a club ever but she's not so much caught up in this so-called thing excitement excitement for a lot of people means the club life, the after hours, being out to three or four in the morning, doing Lord's no, Lord knows what. Anybody who's out there late is looking for trouble. Anybody. 
I was there. That's how I know. Anybody that's out that late is looking for trouble. And women who want no part of that, to me, are the pleasant women. If they go out, it's somewhere private. It's safe. It's a bunch of uh, responsible, uh, pleasant people just having a good old time. Maybe some drinks are pouring every now and then, some nice music. Just chilling. Maybe some kind of a lounge. Something really private. Private and chill. Unlike your nightclubs, your so-called... I don't know, spots where people go and hang out, listen to loud music. A lot of times people go over there just to show off, meaning they pretend to be having fun. They whip out their smartphones and they're twerking all over the place. They're like doing something to show, to pretend like they're having a good old time. They post the content on social media and then you see it. You think, oh my God, my life is terrible. Look at all this fun this person is having. And now you follow them and now you think this is what I need to do to have fun. Being in that scene, the club scene, and really, they're not even there to have fun. They're just they're, they're, they're there to show off and make it seem like they're having fun. Because once they put the phone down, it's like they're just sitting down, not doing anything. No, like no one's really dancing. No one's really doing anything but just on their smartphones. The same thing at pool sides, on their phone. No one's really in the pool swimming. This is this is insane. But this this is this is the like the kind of scene people are referring to as excitement. To me, too much excitement. Could be very dangerous for you. I'm not saying don't have fun, don't drink, do these things. Of course, right? But my thing is, if you're out that late in the morning, not, I'm sorry, not late, that late at night, I'll say, it's only trouble that's around. Because the, I'm telling you, the type of people who go to these to, to those spots are troublemakers. Want to be thugs, want to be gangsters, you know, so-called bad, you know, bees. Uh, just, just, uh, just a lot of dumb stuff, man. Stuff that you don't want to be part of. But, again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you, when I'm seeing today's world, a lot of women who are pleasant and peaceful, that population is shrinking hardcore. Because the virus, which is ratchetness, is just running through all different types of race and communities. And it's really having people think, this is how I need to act in public. And it's just crazy because it's just, it's not true. You know, you're just getting tricked. They make, they're trying to make money off of you somehow, some way. And they're using the ratchet lifestyle to try to make you think this is the way to be. And it's not. And it's everywhere. I'm telling you, people are supporting the ratchet behaviors from mainstream news, from just news in general. They support it. They encourage it. They push it. They glorify it. They celebrate it. It's all to trick you to think this is how I need to be. And it's just not true. It's just, it's, you're getting tricked. All of you, men and women, adults to children, you're all getting played by the system. Another topic. But all I know is this. It's really hard to find peaceful, pleasant, so-called black women. It's very hard to find. It's getting hard to find peaceful, pleasant, Hispanic, Caucasian women. It's shrinking. These women are disappearing. If you're, if you're the opposite of what I'm referring to, the pleasant, peaceful woman, please keep that. Please keep that because all of you are becoming extinct. I'm telling you what I see. There's more trash on the market to choose from, both men and women, than, you know what I mean? There's more of them than us. <laughs> we, we are shrinking. The good people are going away. Even the government is pushing ratchetness. Everyone is pushing because it's, it, to me, it, it really is almost like this attack on the human brain. As that's how I see it too. Because in some way they're going to make, they, they will profit from that type of behavior. I'm not sure. <sighs> Just hear me out, man. I'm, I'm telling you, it's shrinking. That number is really it's, it's 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 getting tight and tight by the freaking day. So if you are that pleasant, peaceful person I'm referring to, please don't lose it. Do not get finesse. Do not get tricked. Do not let the virus, you know, into your brain <laughs> and make you believe, damn, I should be ratchet too because it's cool. All my friends are doing it. All my family members are doing it. I must be the wacko of not participating. Don't participate. Stay the hell away from it. Save yourself and stay away from ghetto ratchet 
people and that goes across the board from Caucasian so-called black Asian you name it trash people are the new it thing it's cool to be ghetto sadly <laughs> this is a thing in our world today but I just need you to just do this be a, be a critical thinker and realize damn they're trying to trick me to become a terrible person they're trying to trick me to become this 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 loud embarrassing you know uh, disrespectful you know terrible person don't don't do it to yourself please both men and women children adults please do not adopt the ratchet lifestyle let me get up out of here much love to you thanks for watching this video back with another one peace